All right guys, today I have a simple blender quick tip that you can use to get better looking customizable and controllable fire and smoke simulations. If you've tried simulating fire in Blender before, you may find that creating a large scale look that is controllable can be a little tricky. A lot of the time the fire and smoke look smoother than they should, despite increasing resolution divisions and other settings like vorticity within the domain cube. Adding force fields to affect your simulation can help, but unfortunately, these fields can become an issue when they affect the entire simulation within the domain cube equally. The number one way you can control these force fields effectively is by enabling the maximum distance checkbox in your force field settings and then increasing or decreasing the distance to control where your force field affects your simulation. This can get you far better results with a lot more customizability. In this example, I'll add in place a turbulence force field with a maximum distance just outside of my flow object to make the fire itself burn more violently and then slowly dissipate as it moves away from the force field. I'll then add a vortex force field again using that max distance parameter to isolate it around the top part of my burning smoke. To finish everything, I'll also add a wind force field with no maximum distance this time to push the smoke generally in one direction. Adjusting your other force field settings in the physics tab to increase the strength and style of your fields is important as well. But this maximum distance parameter can really help dial in your results and is the number one technique that I use to have a lot more control in my simulation process. Anyways guys, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. As as always, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions in the comment section below. Subscribe for more visual effects and filmmaking content, and I'll see you next time.